Tonight, how the Clinton Charitable Foundation is being run, and that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. Hackers have released new information taken from emails stolen from John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chairman, that show the Clinton Foundation is run more like a business than a charity. This man, Douglas Bann, was a top fundraiser for the foundation, but at the same time, he was running a company called Teneo and booking speeches for Bill Clinton. So Mr. Bann was a very busy guy. Not only did he bring in millions of dollars to the foundation, he set up millions of dollars in speaking fees for Bill Clinton and a hefty income for himself, consulting with some folks who donated money to the foundation. It's a tangled web, but you get the picture. Money went to charity, money went to Bill Clinton, money went to Doug Bann. In addition, Thacker studied the 2014 tax return from the Clinton Foundation, the latest available. According to this document filed with the IRS, millions were spent on non-charitable expenses. In 2014, the Clinton Foundation received $338 million in revenue. Wow. 64% of that money went for charitable purposes. The rest was either saved, spent on administrative expenses, or invested. Including in the expenses are lavish salaries for Clinton pals. Then CEO Eric Braverman received $532,000 in total compensation. Not bad. Bruce Lindsay, almost $400,000. Mark Gunton, 314000 Maura Paley, 284000 and Dennis Chang, almost $270,000 in total compensation. In addition, Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea Clinton used private jets to fly around on foundation business. That's legal, but rare. Charities usually are, use scheduled airlines to save money. To be fair, Mr. and Mrs. Clinton are very high-profile people. Secret service agents are needed. But there's no question the private air travel afforded them an opportunity to do whatever they wanted to do and go wherever they wanted to go. That is a huge advantage for a politician planning to run for president, is it not? Talking Points believes the Clinton Foundation is a joint venture, business, political, and charitable. The Clintons figured out how to accomplish all three things under the foundation banner. It is left to you, the voter, to decide whether that is ethical. One footnote, I run my own charitable foundation named after my parents. I take nothing, nothing, no salary, no travel, no expenses. Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea Clinton do not take salaries, but they certainly have benefited from the money the foundation has received and the transactions that go back and forth. And that's the memo. Now for reaction, joining us from Tallahassee, Florida, Peter Schweitzer, author of the book Clinton Cash. So, did I make any mistakes in the memo or leave anything out, Mr. Schweitzer? No, I think that's a great summary of the Clinton blur, as I call it, between their philanthropic, their uh, uh, profit-making ventures and their political ventures. I would add, however, that the critical ingredient is the fact that they had political power at this time. And there was a review done, this came out in WikiLeaks as well, a 2011 review done by Simpson Thatcher uh, at the request of Chelsea Clinton of the Clinton Foundation. And one of the things found is that Clinton Foundation donors had, quote, an expectation of a quid pro quo for their gifts, end quote. So I think it's all related to influence peddling and the fact that these donors that were giving all this money were expecting favorable action from Hillary Clinton. All right, Secretary but I have State. studied, I have studied this and so has my staff and they're the best in the business. We can't find many quos, um, particularly from the year 2014, 15, you know, the, the recent. Now, you can go back with the uranium stuff. Uh, there's uh, Columbia, South America kind of deal yep. here. But it looks to me that they stopped the quos. Would I be wrong in saying that? Well, I think they have suspended them <laughs> right. because uh, Hillary Clinton, suspended, of course, has no... In 14, we don't see a lot of quo coming back. In fact, it's interesting because... Why, maybe you can answer this, I hope you can, why would people going through Doug Band giving money to the Clinton Foundation for charitable purposes, why would they turn around and give 
President Clinton 250000 to speak. I mean, what, what's in it for them? They're giving the money to charity. Why do they have to give him 250000 well, I think it's you're, you're putting uh, money in multiple pockets. And look, in 2014, 2015, Hillary Clinton has no formal political power, but she's widely expected to run for president. Yes. And a lot of people assume she may be the next president. So you could argue that it's a down payment for services that they expect to receive you once could, she goes to the You could argue it would be a speculative argument. Now, um, one of the criticisms of uh, you, and, and your book is very well worth reading for people who are objective, who, who want to know the facts. I have no quibble with your book, but you you are associated to some extent with Stephen Banyan, the CEO of the Trump campaign, um, because you um, work for the Government Accountability Institute. He stepped in board of directors. So people might say, well, look, Schweitzer, you know, he's got a beef against the Clintons and he's not looking at it the fair way. How would you answer that? Well, what I would say is we started researching the Clintons in 2013. Uh, we formed the Government Accountability Institute uh, a couple of years before that. Uh, we went after congressional insider trading involving both Republicans and Democrats, leadership packs, which I've been on your show to talk about. Yep. So we go after all forms of corruption. I would just argue that the Clintons are sort of the alphas as far as self-enrichment from politics. Uh, and we started this well before you know, Donald Trump was ever a candidate. Uh, uh, Hillary Clinton right, had announced. Right, but, it, but, but, but you have some conservative time. friends who. who but but that, sure. I, I don't even care about that. Last question: Do you believe that the Clinton Foundation is corrupt? I do. I do. And I think it warrants federal investigation. I'm not a lawyer, uh, but I think when you look at this internal review, you look at the ABC News report from a couple weeks ago about Haitian contracts going specifically to Clinton Foundation donors. It's that explicit in the emails. If you are not an FOB friend of Bill, uh, you're not allowed to compete for a contract. That to me is clear in evidence Haiti, of quid pro quo. In Haiti. Yeah. Yes, in Haiti. The Haiti yes. thing is troubling. There's no doubt. Um, if Trump's elected, it'll get investigated. If Hillary Clinton's elected, it will not. Mr. Schweitzer, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Plenty more ahead as a fact of moves along this evening.